What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the video. We are looking at Bathurst again, maybe you know it, 1984. Uh, and this is something I have not gotten to see. I'm very excited. We're talking about George Fury's Nissan Bluebird. This was recommended to me probably a lot over the last six months uh, on different Bathurst videos. But uh, one comment I have saved in particular was from Will Rogers about a month ago. So thank you, uh, Will, for this comment. Uh, all I know is that this was extremely fast for its time and, and had a very small engine, like I think like a two liter or at least it was a four cylinder. Uh, and it was in a field with V8. And this thing was absolutely kicking butt. That's what uh, I have heard. So let's see George Fury at Bathurst. Here we go, baby. But in the last uh, five or six laps, back into about uh, fifth spot in the field at the moment. I love watching old and, Bathurst uh, footage. In front love of him it. is Greg Hansford in the number 42 car. Okay, it's a cool looking car because they won for the one. charge to the first corner. That was the original start, but everything happened back Ooh, behind them. Someone was turned over. And then, of course, in the restart, around, rather. Uh, George wasn't away as quickly as uh, Peter Brock, and, and really, he's been paying that penalty ever since. We don't know of any problems that have beset the uh, Nissan team. I wonder, though, if they have definitely a good era, Peter down, Brock, and uh, lots of good others. We've had all the Here we go, and down Comrade. Let's see what Brock. this little four-banger can do, huh? Look at him passing people. Woo! They can make it to... Uh, the end of this uh, looked like he event. was going fast on the mountain too it did not look looked like he was going slow there's george fury on conrod straight jeez and this is before they put uh, the modification in so this is literally conrod straight with no interruptions fury coming over the hump jeez. down beneath the bridge into the left hander that thing is flying under the brakes hard wow Coming out uh, on the long the pit straight. Okay, so uh, I can't believe I went this long without really researching this. This Bluebird is pretty good looking. I like the looks. Pretty interesting, you know, body lines, but I like it. It's super 80s. Uh, this is pre-GTR, I guess. Uh, I don't know much about the Bluebird at all. I obviously know about, you know, R31, R32, GTRs, and so on. Uh, but this must be before that or maybe a different type of model. Uh, and someone tell me the specs on this thing. Uh, obviously this guy's a good driver. I think we can narrow that down. But also, that thing really looked like it was flying down Conrad Strait. Now, obviously, he can show his driving skills in, in the twisties, and he certainly did. Uh, but let's get real. When you're on a straight, you know, once you, once you have grip and you're getting in high gear, anyone can mash that throttle to the firewall, right? Uh, that's less his skill and more on the car that that thing was literally hauling ass on the straightaway. And it's only a four-cylinder? Man, what's going on with this thing? At the moment now. What's the secret there? George Fury, still a long way to go, but at least the... It's going damn fast for a four-cylinder. Nissan cylinder. is running strongly indeed. Wow. Look at that thing. Planted to the ground. Looks like it handles really well. I am assuming it's rear-wheel drive. Might have been all-wheel drive. Seems kind of early Fury. for that. Getting up Jeez, to the one small past it's like a video cars, game. This guy is passing cars Another like it's RX nothing. Seven. He is going through the field like he has the AI set to easy in a video game. <laughs> the RX-7 trying to slipstream him up there, get a quick ride to the top. Nice view there as we zoom in. Look at that thing, looks mean, I like it. George, a man of this has been under the radar the for me. This so well. I can't believe it. Won't be wasting any time with uh, erratic driving. His only problem is he's just a little bit off the pace uh, compared to yesterday when he won... Uh, Hardy's heroes. Wow. That thing is flying around the track. It's almost scary. It's gripping so well. Okay, Fury across Jeez. the top of the mountain dropping down, and boy, oh boy, has there been a dice developing between uh, Dick Johnson and, uh, of course, Ooh. our race leader, Larry Perkins. There's the 14 car. Larry Perkins, Dick Johnson, Peter Brock. What a from, field we got here, huh? We're sitting there next to the wall. And George Fury, damn. Up and broke the concrete. Drinking oh, no, water. that's it. Oh, I could watch that race for hours. Dang, uh, do me a favor, guys. These these Bathurst videos are my claim to fame on this channel, and uh, they are they are my favorite. Let's get real. Uh, and one thing that's super amazing is the community, right? Uh, so I'm definitely going to need your guys' help in the comments. Suggest more footage if you have links uh, or, or keywords to help me find them. 
I need to see more of George Fury and his Bluebird. Uh, that was really fun to watch. It was shorter than I would have liked. Uh, but let me, let me say that, first of all, watching Bathurst uh, as an American, I, I always say this in my older videos, if, if you are new here, that uh, I feel like I missed out. I feel like I missed out, not not getting to see this in the 70s and 80s, obviously because I'm too young, uh, but that I also missed out my whole life uh, until last year, you know, discovering Bathurst in Australian motorsport, uh, you know, for real this late in life, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm playing catch up. I, I freaking love it. And I love watching Bathurst. I love these old videos. I love the old racing series. Uh admittedly better than I do the new ones. That was a pleasant surprise because I've learned a lot, but wow, I, I really knew barely anything about this. Uh, so George Fury, another guy on the list of amazing drivers, it looks like. Wow, I'm very impressed. And, and that Bluebird, I'm kind of blown away by. So if you can explain how the heck that thing was so fast, he was flying. That thing was literally passing cars like it was nothing. He was going through, like using the whole track, of course, which is so satisfying. Watching Bathurst laps, uh, watching great drivers at Mount Panorama fly around the track, for some reason, the way that track is, it's so satisfying. Watching them fly, uh, put down a really fast lap, it's so satisfying. Watching them toss that car around, and they're going up, and then down, and then <laughs> down the long straight. It, it's, it's amazing, especially this old track layout. Uh, though it be dangerous, it was definitely entertaining. I mean, they just flew down Conrad Strait. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, I want to know how that thing was that fast. That was that was impressive. So thank you for the suggestion. Uh, please suggest a more uh, classic Australian motorsports. Doesn't have to be Bathurst. Uh, and then if you have any footage that's worth a watch with George Fury and the Bluebird, got to let me know because I'm fascinated by this. This was a great discovery. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Help this video out for nostalgia, for the best era of Aussie motorsports. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 50K. You guys can do it. Help me get there. And uh, check out the original description for this original video. I believe I forgot to shout out the beginning. I keep doing that lately. I'm sorry. That's what I usually do. I've been forgetting. Uh, this video is from VBVB088. Uh, this will be linked down there. So make sure to check it out if you would like to uh, watch this further. Of course, uh, check down there for other ways you can interact with my channel. Check the Discord. It's come a long way. Uh, check me out on Instagram. I post behind the scenes stuff now. Finally there uh, on IW Rocker, Facebook, IW Rocker. Uh, my name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys. I'll catch you later.